While on IHA we just had a formal presentation on Tidal. Tidal was a phase two protocol with Zendelis HIP. Um, and uh, during the previous phase 1B and during Tidal we introduced a completely new uh, dosing schedule where we give the drug 60 milligrams daily on a daily basis for the first two cycles followed by an intermittent dosing schedule seven days on 21 days off. This is designed to uh, repopulate T reg cells uh, and uh, it has a role in mitigating the um, adverse events of special interests uh, which are autoimmunity related. Therefore we presented the results of the Tidal in uh, Coastal. It's a randomized protocol currently ongoing in follicular lymphoma patients um, which um, mm, allows uh, us to compare uh, Zandalisib with Rituximab with chemoimmunotherapy. Actually, our biggest problem was the competitor arm and uh, we came to a conclusion that uh, the protocol will be amended and uh, we will let the R-square uh, proto uh, um, protocol for those with POD24. This should uh, increase the recruitment and allow us to finish it reasonably fast. It should be of notice that we had uh, uh, lots of things happening in IP3K inhibitors after FDA published a paper in Lancet Oncology which was followed uh, by the ORDAC meeting. Now it was uh, uh, the whole class of the drugs was put at question and accelerated approvals were withdrawn uh, but a coastal study is a properly designed third phase protocol which should fulfill all FDA and DMA criteria. We have confidence that the new dosing schedule, uh, which is diminishing the uh, adverse events of special interest by eightfold, will actually meet all the requirements.